Imagine if you could charge your car for just five minutes and then drive 1,000 kilometers straight. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but in reality, this is no longer just a dream. It could happen very soon. Toyota has recently made an announcement that has shaken the entire auto industry, solid state batteries. You may have heard this term many times, but now it's no longer limited to research papers. It's about to become a reality. Until now, the biggest fear of driving an electric car was the long charging time and short range. But if a range of 1,000 kilometers with just five minutes of charging really becomes a reality, the era of petrol and diesel cars could come to an end. The big question is, is this technology really coming to change our lives? Or is it just another promise that will be forgotten over time? And if it is true, then the foundations of Tesla, BYD, and other companies could be shaken. In this video, we'll explain how Toyota's new battery works, when it could launch, and why many believe it will be the biggest automobile revolution of the next 10 years. But is it really possible? Watch till the end because the information you're about to learn might decide the future of your next car. And yes, before we continue, don't forget to subscribe so you can be the first to see more videos like this. Toyota's market background. Toyota, one of the world's largest car makers, has built its reputation on reliability and long-lasting vehicles. From the 1,990 seconds to today, if there's one company that has consistently trusted petrol and diesel engines, it's Toyota. Cars like the Corolla, Camry, and SUVs like the Innova and Fortuna have all become synonymous with quality and trust. But times are changing. As the whole world moves towards electric vehicles, Toyota is also slowly entering the race. Currently, companies like Tesla and BYD dominate the electric car market. Toyota, instead of jumping directly into EVs, first focused on hybrid vehicles. The Prius is the biggest example. It was the world's first mass production hybrid car and sold in the millions. In recent years, Toyota has tried to increase its electric car sales, but data shows it's still in the early stages. By 2023, Toyota had sold about 1.9 million hybrid and electric vehicles, but most of these were hybrids. The share of pure EVs was very low. In comparison, BYD and Tesla each sell millions of electric cars annually. Clearly, Toyota hasn't been able to keep up in the EV race. The main reason is its reliance on traditional engines and hybrids. Toyota believes the world cannot shift to pure electric overnight, which is why it has adopted a gradual strategy using hybrids as a bridge to full electrification. But now the situation is changing. Global warming, strict emission rules and the growing push for green energy are forcing Toyota to take EVs seriously. In the last few years, Toyota has introduced many EV concepts and launched new models under its BZ series. The BZ410s, Toyota's first mainstream electric SUV, is already on sale in markets like the US and Europe. While sales aren't very high yet, it's clear that Toyota is preparing to strengthen its place in the EV market. And its real trump card is solid-state battery technology. Solid-state battery technology. Toyota has been researching solid-state batteries for a long time. If this technology hits the market, it will directly challenge Tesla and BYD. A 1,000 kilometers range with just five minutes of charging could make Toyota a leader in the EV space almost overnight. So even though Toyota is behind in today's EV race, its preparation runs deep. Having already mastered petrol, diesel, and hybrids, Toyota is now moving rapidly towards electric. In the coming years, this strategy will determine whether it becomes an EV leader or remains just another competitor. So what exactly is a solid-state battery? Most EVs today use lithium-ion batteries, the same technology found in your phone, laptop, or electric scooter. These work by moving small particles called lithium ions from one side to another, charging and discharging the battery. The problem is that lithium ion batteries use a liquid electrolyte. While this liquid enables the process, it also brings risks, overheating, leakage, even explosions, and limited lifespan. Solid state batteries replace the liquid electrolyte with a solid electrolyte. The function remains the same ions move from one electrode to another, but it's done in a safer, more stable way. This eliminates problems like leakage, overheating, 
and fire risks. The biggest advantage of solid-state batteries is energy density in simple terms, storing more energy in less space. That's why a lithium-ion battery that powers a car for 400-500 kilometers could, with solid-state technology, extend that range to 800-1000 kilometers. And that's exactly why the auto industry is so shaken. Charging speed. Fast charging a lithium-ion battery still takes at least 30-40 minutes. But thanks to its special technology, a solid-state battery could fully charge in just 5 to 10 minutes. Think about it today, we can fill a petrol tank in 5 minutes. If the same becomes possible for electric cars, it won't matter whether your car runs on petrol or battery. That's why solid-state batteries are being called a game-changer technology. The solid electrolyte also makes ion movement more stable, which improves durability. While lithium-ion batteries begin to degrade after 1,000-2,000 charging cycles, solid-state batteries can last far longer. That means EV owners won't need to replace their expensive batteries is often a huge benefit for everyday customers. No wonder companies like Toyota, Samsung and QuantumScape are racing to perfect this technology. Toyota in particular has announced plans to bring solid-state battery vehicles to market by 2027. If this happens, it could truly spark a new EV revolution. Seattle's breakthroughs don't stop with the anode and electrolyte. They've got the cathode in on the action too. That's the final piece of the battery puzzle. While they're keeping some details under wraps, it's a safe bet they're using ultra-high energy cathodes like the ones used in long-range electric cars. These cathodes are key to reaching the insane energy levels Seattle is promising. Traditional cathodes, the power storing part of a battery, usually hold about 250 watt hours per kilogram. That's decent, but it limits how much energy a battery can store. Seattle's new cathodes kick that up to 350 watt hours per kilogram, a 40% jump. More energy means your electric car can go farther and charge faster. Pretty awesome, right? Now picture this, an electric vehicle that can cruise 620 miles on one charge and juice up in just minutes. That's not some far off fantasy. Seattle's condensed battery is making it happen with massive energy storage, better safety and long-term savings. And this tech could shake up way more than just EVs. Think renewable energy storage or even electric planes taking off. Before this breakthrough, EV drivers were stuck worrying about range anxiety wondering, will I make it home? And waiting ages to recharge. But Seattle's condensed battery could wipe those worries away. EVs using this tech could finally match gas-powered cars for performance and convenience, making the switch to electric feel like a no-brainer. Take the average commuter driving 31 miles to work each day. With a regular EV, they might worry about running out of juice. But with Seattle's battery, they could do that trip back and forth multiple times on one charge with power to spare. And it doesn't stop there. This tech could totally transform renewable energy too.